do not drink and drive. A tagline that might seem like such a cliche to many, but when it's disregarded, many end up in this kind of a situation. So when the police brought in the alcohol breathalyzer commonly referred to as Alco Blow in 2006, many welcomed the initiative while some, let's say, resisted the gadget. However, you can now avoid being flagged down by police every other time you go to catch a drink with your friends and being charged for driving under the influence. And this is how. Manufacturing of these gadgets have come up with smaller versions of the breathalyzer which can fit in your pocket and you can measure your own breath alcohol level with a simple handheld device. The home device is similar to, though not as precise, as the type of test used by police for suspected drunk drivers. If the device is calibrated and used according to the manufacturer's directions, it can provide an accurate estimate of your blood alcohol level. When testing, wait at least 15 minutes after having an alcoholic drink. Do not smoke for one to five minutes before testing your blood alcohol concentration. Do not blow smoke into the device. Take at least two separate readings 15 minutes apart. This way you can be able to tell up to what level of alcohol you have in your body before you can ignite your engine. The breath alcohol test offers one piece of information to help you make a safe decision about drinking and driving. However, the safest decision is always do not drive if you have been drinking. Catherine Nasimu for Gizmos.